How do you persuade creative people that are so tied in and invested into their concepts and their visions to go your way and do what's best for, for them to be commercially successful? Well, artists who write, they're reluctant to do outside Most material. Definitely. And if they come up dry, I'm talking pop artists, you know, you do get into the issue and you say, look, you need hits, pop artists by definition. There is practically, there isn't anybody that I could think of that has a platinum album as a pop artist without a hit on it. And so it puts that focus. You do get that issue. And obviously, everybody's got opinions. So, you know, it's like having a marriage. Do you have any differences of opinion or do you have some that have got to be worked out? It helped me over the years, not entirely, when I built a track record. I didn't start doing this of submitting songs to artists who don't write until I had formed Arista. And I started doing it with Barry Manilow, who gave me two songs per album. And then I got a surplus, and we were hitting with every song with Barry. So it encouraged me to sign Dion and ultimately collaborate with the greatest singer of all time, Aretha Franklin, and ultimately Whitney Houston. Which artists do you take the most credit for discovering? Because I know that there are people that were brought to you at some point in their career and then you were the person that really ushered them into the uber success that they had in their careers. But who was the person that you were the earliest involved with that you take the most credit for? Well, you know, it's like saying if you're pregnant, which do you take most credit <laughs> uh, for hitting that right? Uh, um, you either discover them or help discover them or, you know, in some cases you share. I would have to say the first artist I ever signed was Janis Joplin and Big Brother and the Holding Company, and I was sitting there with my wife at, on the fairgrounds of the Monterey Pop Festival, and it was a big decision to say, there's no one here with me professionally, and I have got to sign that artist. And so there's no question on that artist being the first one I made that judgment I had to sign Janis Joplin and Big Brother. But as far as artist is concerned, I think the essence is very much the same. You're looking for a long-term career. You're looking for a headliner. You're looking for the real deal. The buck stops when you are committing the money to sign an artist and, and pay them advance money. and.